Good evening, everyone. I'm your host, Manpreet. Welcome to the second season of IST Practicals by Internshala Trainings. IST Practicals is a series of pre online master classes delivered by industry experts. These 45 minute sessions are all about teaching students important concepts, tools, and softwares. Every IST practical is an opportunity to experience practical learning. In the first episode of this season, we have Mr. Arun Singh Panwar taking a session on animation with After Effects. With more than 12 years of experience in animation as a faculty, 2D and 3D animator, TV commercial director, motion graphics designer, product visualizer and editor, Arun is the art director at Intern Shala. I hope you will enjoy this webinar with him. We have a very special gift for you at the end, so stay tuned for that. And without further ado, let's welcome Arun. Thanks, Manpreet. Thank you for the wonderful introduction. Uh, hi, all. I am Arun. I am art director at Intern Shala, and I take care of visual content development. So today, we'll go through with After Effects, the foundation of animation. Uh, before that, so I'll ask you a few questions, and uh, I am expecting a few answers from you in the comment section. So my first question from you is, how many of you know about animation? Comment in yes and no. Yeah, I, I'm waiting for the responses. Yeah. OK, Saurabh Verma, yes. Uh, Dhruv Singh, yes, basics. OK, OK, I can see lots of responses. Yeah, good. OK, thank you very much. So my next question is, how many of you know about the After Effects? Comment in yes and no. Yes, I'm waiting for the responses, yeah. That that's in rights, yes. Akansha, no. Okay. Thank you very much for the responses. So my next question from you is how many of you know about the FPS? FPS used in animation in After Effects or Premiere? Yes, I can see lots of responses. Yeah, yes, no. Okay, okay. Okay, great, great. Lots of responses. Thank you for the participation. Yeah. Thank you very much. So I'll play a clip here and uh, then we'll talk about the animation. Yeah. As you can see, I have a clip of Lion King. So I'll uh, briefly show you a few clips here. Yeah. So Lion King is one of my favorite movie in 2D. Uh, I really love this movie. You should also watch this one. And uh, this is basically 2D animation. So there are multiple types of animation. This is a, an example of 2D animation. And today we are going to talk about 2D animation. So I'll share a slide with you. Okay. So today uh, we are going to talk about key highlights. Uh, so our first key highlights uh, is production pipeline. So first we'll go with the production pipeline, how a movie is made, what are the steps uh, you need to follow to create some short films, some movies or some projects. We'll talk about the production pipeline. After that, we'll move to knowledge of tools, what kind of uh, uh, basic understanding of tools you require to do an animation. After that, we'll talk about prerequisites for job application, small things that matters most in life that most of the animators forget before applying for the job. So these are the three things we will be covering. Yes. And we'll talk about FPS in the knowledge of tools. Not right now. Yeah. Stay tuned. So let's move to next slide uh, this is production pipeline 
so whenever so like you saw lion king movie right so it's not just that they started building the whole movie directly in the software or by drawing sketching so they follow a pro- proper production pipeline for that and it is divided into three parts basically planning part comes first which is called pre production in the pre production you should have knowledge of story idea what you are going to build what concept do you have what assignment do you have right now right first you have clarity of idea clarity of story idea then you can think of building something right never ever jump to animation never ever open software never ever just start doing animation first do the research go to inter- internet understand uh, about the topic about what you are going to build always do pre production first planning is utmost important thing that we mostly miss out in life in projects in assignments in companies do the research do the browse internet browse videos go for references how much it's available in the internet go through with all of them before beginning the project right once you have the story idea once you have the concept next part is the script you have to break down that story idea into different script when i talk about script then it means uh, the scene you are going to build the camera angles you are going to put right so for example one scene setup can have multiple shots or multiple camera angles right so you have to break down your script in the form of scenes shots camera angles and then plan your visuals accordingly so i'll give you a small glimpse of basic scripting i am not good i am not going to show you very complicated script but i am going to show you a very basic script that you can build at your laptop at your pc so you can see this is a example this is the story idea and then you can break it down into a script this is the basic format i have created for you you can practice it, practice it at home this is the scene this is the shot shot is called the camera angles second camera angles second scene setup other camera angles so you can break it down into scenes the most important thing is the research if i'm talking about script go to internet study more about script how to build script how to build basic script don't go for very complicated scripts right just scene setup uh, scene setup is basically where a prop is placed right when the props changes then the scene changes then a one prop setup can have multiple camera angles right then comes the part of storyboarding when you have broken the, down your script uh, your story into script then you have to build the storyboarding or if you are not well versed with the sketching or drawing you can create visual designs also direct in illustrator right but if you can do the rough sketching that is also fine so uh, what happens when you are building uh, explainer videos right infographic videos then you can directly begin with the visual design but you are working on some kind of short film some kind of story idea then you can plan out camera angle on a rough paper and then the, uh, later stage you can build with the you can go through with the start the production pipe uh, animation production right so uh, i'll give you a glimpse of storyboarding so uh, i'll show you how a uh, script is broken down into visuals so you can see the camera angles are broken here or scenes the scene setup is same there are multiple camera angles here right perspectives so these are visualization so storyboarding is important for the visualization part yeah so one of the question arises is why do we need storyboard why can't we jump into the animation production just after the script one of the thing is you need to have visualization of your story of your idea right you would like to avoid uh doing the modification corrections at the end of the movie right at the end of the short film or animation right it requires lots of lots of efforts hard work and time to build one uh animation or one shot or one 
uh, clip of animation, right? Animation is basically done in frames. So it requires lots of efforts and you would like to avoid correcting mistakes at the end of the production. So what you should uh, do is basically plan out your ideas on a rough paper or create storyboarding. Just see how camera angles are looking and then you will have a clear cut visualization in front of you before the production process, right? It is for the visualization so that you can save your cost and time at the time of production. After you are done with the storyboarding or the uh, visual designing or uh, visualization of your script, then you can move to animatics part. So most of the people are not aware of animatics. Animatics is basically rough animation of your story or of your concept. So what we do is we scan all the, all the visuals, uh, all the sketches you have created and then put it uh, in, in, inside the timeline of either in the After Effects or in this whatever software is available like Premiere and then you just put the music there. You just uh, put the vo uh, vocal there, voiceover there and match the, your uh, scanned artboards or scanned uh, storyboards to that voiceover or music, right? then you will render uh, your movie out from that. So it would be a rough co a composition of your storyboarding. And it would not be your final animation. These are just for the visualization. You will have at least one render out with the vocal voiceovers and with the music, right? Then once you have animatics in front of you, you must be very confused that it seems very confusing. But I'll show you a clear cut example of animatics right now. So you can see what we have done. We have scanned the drawings and we have added the music here. And we have just zoomed in, zoomed out the, uh, the uh, visuals. And we have one complete movie in front of us. This is just for the ideation, just for the visualization. The advantage you will have with the animatics is that later at the production stage you can just remove the visuals with the with the final animation right you can remove the camera angle with the final animation so this is an example of animatics right these are the camera angles we have put it there right then comes the animation part so uh, as I mentioned, then once you have the animatics in front of you, what you can do, you can just uh, uh, use your After Effects software and create the animation and just render the clips out and then replace uh, the visuals, the drawings from the movie, right? In the editing software available to you, right? Then at the end, you will have a complete planned movie in front of you, right? Why the pre-production is important, why the planning is important so that you can avoid a uh, wastage of time and money and you will have a finished output in front of you at the end of the completion of the production pipeline right so pre-production planning is very important never ever miss out planning thing most of us uh, really want want to jump to animation software and just start keyframing all the things but i would recommend you that do this research first start working on the planning part take your time Take 50% of your time in the in the planning stage and then take 50% time at the uh, production stage. You will have a excellent output in front of you. At the end, you will have editing and compositing. What is editing and compositing? Once you have render file in front of you, you if you want to remove few frames, if you want to put additional frames, you want to put visual effects, SFX, you want to put more uh, music, clips, sound uh, to that, then you can do that at the end of the stage that is editing and compositing, right? And then after that, you can render out a finished movie. I'm sure if you plan it out uh, properly, you will have an excellent movie in front of you, a short film or GIF animation in front of you after following this step. So always plan and then execute. Let's move to next slide. Time for a quiz. So uh, 
yeah we'll go to internshala training platform we have quizzes here we have projects here we have assignments here this is the lms so we have created an excellent quiz for you so according to the production pipeline storyboarding is done after the animation is it true or false please comment uh, in the comment section yeah let's see your understanding of concept yeah is it true or false according to the production pipeline storyboarding is done after the animation is it true or false yeah i can see lots of responses manav says no uh, nitin says true uh, yash says false ashok says it's scrolling very fast uh, manav says false false i can see false yes storyboarding should always be done before the animation otherwise there is no meaning of this after the animation there is no meaning of storyboarding right it is for the uh, visualization it's, it is for the planning of the animation right so the statement is false right so uh, uh, I have one more question for you. You need to have exceptional drawing and sketching skills for animation. I repeat, you need to have exceptional drawing and sketching skills for animation. True or false? Let's see your responses. Yeah. Uh, Jeshu says false. Uh, Tripti says false. Yeah, I can see false. Yeah, exactly. So before what, what used to happen, there was classical animation, right? At that time, when you see Disney and Pixar movie, even the Lion King, they have used cell animation. They used to draw all the things. But nowadays, we have uh, multiple softwares available. You can do animation there only, right? So good response. Yeah. Thank you very much for the response. I am very uh, amazed with your, with your response. You all are great. Yeah. Thank you very much. Let's move to next stage yeah let's come to knowledge of tools okay so whatever i am teaching just uh put your plug on put the lock in the mind on everything whatever i am teaching it's very crucial for understanding of animation and it would help you in long run so first thing first we will talk about the principle of timing and spacing. Before that, we'll talk about the coordinates, right? In 2D animation, we uh, do the animation in coordinates. We have value in X and Y axis. The stage you see, uh, the after effects stage you see, uh, it has coordination value in it. So you need to understand what are the coordinates. So you must have uh, used the, uh, this graph in the schools, right? Either in ninth or 10th standard, right? So in these graphs, you used to uh, put the X and Y values, right? So same happens with the with the real uh, world animation. You always put key on the X and Y axis, right? So this part you see in the after effect, this is called the directions up and down. So these there are four directions in 2D, X and minus X, Y and minus Y. When you move something on the negative space down, it would be minus if you put it put push or move something on the on the positive space it would be called y negative uh, space would be called minus x and the, and you if you move it on right it would be called plus x right so these are the coordinates so in in a uh, uh, stage of after effect you see four sides and you if you put some space shape there and you if you move it on the right it would be x if you would move it left it would be minus x if you would move it uh, up, it would be called Y and negative space, it would be called minus Y. So uh, why I'm uh, telling you this, uh, the timing and spacing and the coordinates, because I want to make you understand about the key framing. What is a key? So when you lock, for, for instance, here, if uh, this X axis is the timeline and this is the spacing and we put timing and spacing values here and if we freeze that position it it's called a keyframe in the keyframe we always have value of x and y values it seems confusing right now but we will move to softwares and i'll explain you in detail about about the keyframing and the timing and spacing principle right so i'm sure you are aware of coordinates 
So there are two coordinates in 2D. In 3D, there is one extra coordinate. It's called Z space, Z space. So we are talking about 2D. So I'll talk about X and Y coordinates, right? Okay. Uh, after the coordinates, I'll talk about is in and is out. So we'll directly jump to software after after this. So uh, uh, what in what is is in and is out? So when we do linear animation, right? When we put one, when we lock the animation uh, coordinates at one place and move it a little far and lo lock the coordinate at another place, what happens is animation happens, right? We lock two keyframes, right? So this is called linear animation like you can see one key framing is here right and one key framing is here this is timing this is spacing you can see the pixels and you can see the timeline one second two second three second and you can see the pixels it's covering right so we have locked keyframe here and keyframe here right zero to three is the timing left to right is the timing and up and down is the physical space real world how much things are traveling in space, right? So this is X and this is Y. So we are locking two positions here, right? So this is linear, linear animation. And what is is in and is out? This is basically when we put more animation at more frames at the beginning and more frames at the end. So you can see the linear and we have given a little band here. If we change, replace it with a thread, you can see the thread is little more here right so what will have what would happen things would be slow and it would speed up here it would be called ease out and as the name suggests ease out just focus on the word easily out right with ease out and is in so it is called ease in and ease out in the animation now we'll move to software and i'll explain uh, these things to you yeah so you can see the after effects i have kept two nice sports cars here right and uh, let's explain about the after effect uh, layout so this is the toolbar you can see at the top these are the menus below this you can see the project window you can import all the files all the videos all the um, uh, audio files here you can double click here and then you can import any file you want. We have multiple formats available here. So this is the project window. This is the composition window. We will be doing animation here. And uh, beside this, you can see the effect window. All the tools you can see here. If you want to put some effects or uh, if you want to uh, do some kind of particle animation or uh, advanced animation so you can find all the plugins and presets here also you can find the presets from here also right at the bottom here you can see the crucial thing it is called the timeline yeah so we will do the animation here and we can lock the coordinates here so i will first explain you about the coordinates which i was discussing about in the slide what are the coordinates? If I click on this thing and expand the layer from here, and you can see X position, Y position, right? And if I move it, you can see the uh, values changing, right? You can see X and Y values changing, right? So if I move it on the same direction, you can see only one value changing, right? So you can see only x value is changing so this is what we are doing we are moving car in one coordinate it is x if we go in the negative direction it would go in the negative minus x direction or coordinate right you can see minus 187 right i hope the concept of coordinates are clear to you we do animation in the coordinate x and y positions either it would be plus x or plus y you can see or you can also move the coordinates also these values also right so let's begin with the animation so first what we'll do we'll put we'll lock the keys when we lock the keys it's called keyframe so what we'll do first we'll lock the x position you can see a keyframe here right here you can see the keyframe how to lock it you can see a clock here you have to press this clock 
you can see the playhead just move the playhead here and click it here right okay uh, first thing first you can see a stage here right you must be confused that how i got all the things here how i set up the sta stage here so what you can do you can build as many stage in the after effect you have composition option available always uh, create a stage first before the animation right without stage you won't be able to animate anything so first thing first you have to create new composition in the new composition uh, you can uh, use the resolutions your resolutions are the width and height of your stage the composition stage and we basically go for the full sd it's 920 and 1, uh, 1080 and you can select the presets from here also or you can custom put the values 1920 1080 if your laptop doesn't support it, you can go for 1280 by 720. 1280 by 720. You can also note it down. Or if your laptop is full SD, you can go for 1920-1080. Then uh, below you can see the square pixels. What are these square pixels? When you create something in the After Effects, uh, when you create something in the Illustrator or other software and you import it here, you have to keep it a square pixel. All the resolutions, otherwise the resolution uh, will get distorted right can change then the thing i was talking about in my quiz section at the first fps right frame per second right frame per second is basically these are the images we keep inside one second so these are the frames we keep inside one second right when we uh, move all these images uh, together it gives uh, illusion of an movement right so we work inside the frames we don't work inside the minutes we work, always work inside the frames so one second will have 25 frames so this is the standard we follow if if you are uh, uh, doing fast animations if you are um, uh, recording uh, some live footages right uh, so you what you can do uh, for the faster things, you can take as much as frame you want. You can go for 30 frames. You can go for 50 frames. It will give you better detailing. But for standard, we go for 25 frames. This is fine with us. But if there are like you are going to record waterfall, right? If you're going to record river, right? Some moving cars, you should go for more frames, right? But we'll take 25 frames. And you can log uh, keep the timeline here also. Uh, like you want to create 5 second animation or 10 second animation then you can uh, press the okay so we have select created a sample composition right sample and then we press okay okay then you can see we have created this stage now it's ready for the animation so first thing first you have to create the stage and then do the animation right so what i did earlier i created this uh, viewport this composition window this stage and then imported two images of car and i'm going to show you the principle of ease in is out and timing and spacing here how the keyframe work, works right so i hope you are uh, clear about the coordinates and the keyframe right so when we lock the coordinates it's called keyframe so we are locking it here and then after one second after one second so you can see inside the second there are frames 5 frame 10 second 15 20 and 25 frames right so what we'll do We'll do the animation of one second only so what we are going to do we are going to lock one more position so you can see one keyframe has automatically been appeared here right you just have to press lock one frame and then automatically remaining keyframes will automatically appear like this you can see one more frame appeared here right so first you have to do it manually then it will capture automatically it will lock the coordinates act, uh, automatically so it has locked the movement here right so it can lock the movement more but we do we don't want to put we, would, we want to begin with two keyframes only so you can see the animation it's moving so it is called linear animation it is very flat animation we haven't used any effects any any easy knees out here right now so with the second car we'll show you the difference if we put the easing is out you can do smooth animation uh, if you notice if you observe in real life uh, whatever movement we have right whenever, whenever we start walking and whenever we stop 
you always see the AZ in is out. In simplest, uh, simplest term, if I give you example of ceiling fan, right? When you switch on the uh, plug, the what happens is slowly, slowly, uh, it sta fan starts rotating, right? And then when you switch off the plug, you see it is losing its inertia and then it slowly, slowly stops, right? So at the beginning, it's accelerating. At the end, it's deaccelerating. The rotation is deaccelerating. It is called ease in and ease out, right? This is what we need to understand in real world. You can find ease in, ease out in all the movement, whether you are starting car, whether you are starting your motorbike, you will notice it all everywhere. Just be observative. Yeah. So uh, for the comparison, what I'll do, I'll do the idle put ease in, ease out in the next slide. first we will lock at the beginning and then we will move the frames yeah so we will come here we have already locked the starting frame of this car now shift right key will press or you what you can uh, do you can click on this and then press shift it will move in one direction only click and shift yeah right or shift or right key button you can also use this right i i don't want to uh, do animation y position right so I'm locking only one coordinate, X coordinate only. So you can see it's flat animation. There is no is in, is out in that. So what I'll do, there's an option called graph editor in After Effects. You can make amazing animation using the graph editor, right? So what we'll do, we'll go to graph editor. Here you can find the graph, uh, the link, the button for the graph editor, and you can see that layers changing into graph area right graph section you can see and as i was talking about principle of timing spacing i'll explain it again you can see the timing here one second two second right uh, there is a key minus and plus you can press it here for zoom in zoom out for the graph editor or there is a key also here you can use it for the stretch and stretch out it's like this right so for one second you can see that so what we'll do will here you can see the linear animation there is no effect in the, this one and in second what we'll do we'll put the ease out and ease in right first what we are going to do we are going to break the the coordinates so here you can see the bezier keys what i did i clicked here and i logged the easy key right again i selected this key and i logged the easy key so what is happening what i did is I uh, put little more frames at the beginning and little more frames at the ending, right? Before this, it was like this. And what I did, I did give it a hold for a few time. I did put some more frames here, right? You can see the difference. It was flat and you can see the more curve here, right? If you replace it with it with the, with the thread, with the wire, you can see this wire is much more longer than this one right therefore there will be some ease in and easy is out here there will be some slowness here at the beginning and then it will speed up from here because we have put at more frames here and more frames here and now we will play it and see the difference right so you can see the animation was very flat here and here you can see at the ending, it was starting very slowly and ending very slowly. You can, for the, to show up the effect, I'll exaggerate it a little more. Now you can see with the easy is out, you can see it is starting. I'll switch off the above layer and then you can see this one. Yeah, now see accelerating and decelerating, right? You can clearly notice the ease in is out. Ease in and ease out. If you want me to slow it down, I can do that. Here. Ease in and ease out. See, now you can clearly see it is slowly starting and slowly ending. I did put some more frame at the end, uh, starting and ending. Just don't get confused with the ease in and ease out. There are multiple wrong statements in the internet. Whenever you switch on about the easy is out, you will always get the wrong information. So like I'll explain it here again. 
first it would be ease out and then it would be easy in right easily out and easily in now we will go to another animation so uh, this was about easily easy in out i am sure it is now clear with you right so before the animation was static was moving very statically right and now it there is you can see the motion at the beginning and at the ending gradually the car is starting and gradually it's slowing down right you can clearly notice the difference it is statically moving with same constant speed and you can see the variation in speed at the second car right so this is called the easy is out it is everywhere in motion and you have to follow the easy is out you can use it in the creating the transition you can use it in the in the in the walk cycle you can use it in the in the object animation this can help you a lot in your animations for the shape animation or multiple type of animation you can create using the easy is out yeah so now second thing uh i will give you a walk through on on real life gravity how a real life gravity works in animation so what happens is generally whatever we see uh, whatever uh, we observe from our eyes we always notice the gravity but we ignore this right whenever someone is walking someone is falling down right someone is crawling someone is sleeping you can feel the gravity there right but when you create the animation you never tend to observe that that there is real gravity in the real world that you are ignoring in your animation right it should not happen so what you have to do you have to put that gravity in your animation also so what i'll do i'll go through with i'll give you uh, a glimpse of bouncing ball animation so here you can see there are two foot, uh, soccer balls first i'll create a plane animation and i'll show you the difference between the gravity and the plane animation like i uh, show you in the is in is out yeah so we'll expand the layer we'll go to position so here you have position scale rotation you can animate all these so today we are going to cover position only you can explore the software more and uh, learn about how you can move use the scale right but today we are going to cover only position so you have to explore more do the research more play around with the tools and then learn about the animation so we'll log out uh, log the starting frame and what we'll do we'll do the animation in 10 10 frames right so we'll create the bounces at 20 we'll slide up with shift left click and then like this right so these are the facts you can also copy these frames as well so what we'll do we'll copy Control c and then you can copy it down to speed up the work so always try to speed up the work and it will save your production time and give you more time time in the refinement of animation yeah always learn about the short shortcuts you can uh, find the shortcuts in uh, all over the internet just go through with the internet and try to create your on set set of shortcuts so that you can speed up the process Ref get the time for the refinement right you will have you will get timeline deadline in all the jobs right so you have to be very fast there so that you can polish your animation out so here you can see it is very flat animation right you can see it is there is no gravity so just along this side we have one more soccer ball and i'll kick, put the gravity there and show you the difference how we can give life to an object the feel to an object so we will animate it in the same line shift down key and shift up and shift down and then you can gradually copy these keyframes yeah so we'll copy two two frames okay but we'll for two we'll keep all the frames in same alignment so that you can see the difference so right now you can see the motion is same static mechanical 
and now we'll start to break down the timing and spacing the easy result to give a feel of gravity so click on this one go to graph editor you will see the coordinate here because we are doing animation in one coordinate so you can see one coordinate is static left and right no movement happening only up and down so you can see the one coordinate here what we can do we can break the coordinate using x and y key separate dimension you can see right break it down and now you can separately move this coordinate it is y coordinate up and down so we'll click on this and you can see here okay so first thing first what we'll do we'll flat these curves like we did in the using is out and then click on this break it down and then we will break these keys like this right so we'll do it to all the keys so first break it down using these keys left bezier right bezier so you can select all and break them up at one go and then break them up so what we are going to do we are uh reducing we are increasing the space in one in few frames right so what we are doing before the frame was here and now in the same time we are increasing the frames right now you can see more thread is there right before it was little less and now it's more so we'll increase the amount of thread here like this the more line is here in one frame right in few frames so we do the same we'll increase the space here in the same timing so that we can speed up the uh, process speed up the uh, that keyframe where ball will uh, touch the ground the contact pose right it is called the contact pose so again we'll break it down we'll keep it at the center break it down and break it down break it down and break it down yeah and the these frames where the ball is at is uh, in the air will flat this curve yeah flat this curve so what happens is you have to do uh, basic blocking first and then you have to uh, did the polishing after that right never expect to find animation in one go first block it out so what i did i did the blocking here and then i broken the contact point this is the contact point i uh played with the timing and spacing the timing is same what i did i abandoned uh, the space i speeded up the space there and now you can see ball will have ball will be hitting the ground see ball is hitting the ground you can see the expression there right the gravity there right so we'll do more refinement we'll click here and we'll reduce the timeline of ending frame so we'll select all these and shift drag shift drag click on this shift and drag shift and drag yeah shift and drag it is very sure that ending bounces will have less uh, time right first bounce will always carry more time and the ending frames will take less time so what we'll do we'll reduce the timing here for the ending frames yeah gradually we'll start polishing the animation so uh it it might be possible that whatever you're seeing uh, looks difficult to you but once you start doing the practice you will be you would be very well versed with the animation first until unless you don't know things things looks difficult to you but once you start doing the practice things will would be easy for you so this is a normal phenomena happens with everyone just learn keep focusing focusing on the learning once you know about the things you have practiced it you have mastered the foundation of animation things would be very easy for you and also i'm sure we will be putting this video in the youtube you can go there you can comment comment there later and uh, you can also see the outcome 
so you can see we have gradually reduced the end frame now let's see the end result yeah let's do one more editing and then we are ready to go yeah Uh, let's check the contact pose. Is it right? Contact pose. Uh, it's not right. Let's correct the contact pose. Yeah, it's right now. Contact pose, right? It's right now. You can also copy the contact pose frame and paste it here. Control V, Control V, and Control V. Yeah. So contact pose would always be same. It should not be like that your ball is flying in the sky and not hitting the ground, right? It, it, it should look realistic. So I have not used stretch and squash here. You can see I am giving uh, a feel of gravity in this bouncing ball without changing the shape of this animation. It is totally about timing and spacing principle. Using that, I'm going to build this bouncing ball animation and now we are done let's see the gravity and see do you see the weight right and you can see the comparison right it is falling on the floor so when you start doing the animation in after effect it would it can be like that a uh, ball is floating floating in the air there is no gravity all the uh, position is mechanical right then gradually, once you start manipulating the keys in, in graph editor, once you start uh, manipulating the timing and spacing, then you can see you would be able to put some gravity here in the ball, right? So that was it. We'll move to next thing. I hope it is clear to you all. Let's move to next thing. It is knowledge of tools, uh, the presets and plugins. One of the things is that once uh, you apply for the job and you get the job right but one thing you will notice one challenge you are going to notice is the meeting the deadlines right always the deadlines are short it might be possible you get chance to build some sh uh, short film one week or some gif animation in few hours right so what you have to do is you have to get used to a presets and plugins you can use few plugins i'm going to uh, discuss about it in, in brief one of the thing is animation composer note it down Animation Composer you can download with the After Effects. There are uh, ready-made presets and plugin available. I'll show it right away. I'm sure we have time for this. Yeah. So in the animation, you can see in the this is Animation Composer. You can open it up. You can see all the animation presets here. Right. You can use all of these. But I would suggest to learn the animation first, learn the foundation of animation first, and then utilize uh, these kind of plugins to speed up the process. Never ever type jump to plugin until unless you don't know the basic, right? Otherwise, your success would be very short. So what you have to do, learn the foundation of animation, and then only uh, uh, experiment with all the presets and plugins, right? There is one more, one more uh, plugin available for the 3D. There is a, it's called Element 3D. Uh, it requires heavy graphic rendering, like uh, if you want to rotate some phone, you want to create some chips kind of advertisement where you have to uh, animate the wrapper of, of a package of a, of a chips or uh, some bis biscuits. So whatever you have to do the advertisement thing, you can uh, rotate, uh, you can do the production of TV advertisement product animation uh, using the Element 3D. So it provides you a platform where you can download 3D softwares in After Effect and do the animation. It's called Element 3D. Yeah, it's surely pay paid. And Animation Composer is free that you can download to speed up the production when you get the job. Or if you are in job, then it would be a great learning, great uh, application tool for you. Yeah. OK. Again, time for quiz. Let's see what we learn. OK, which animation principle did we use in the bouncing ball animation for gravity? A, timing, B, dancing, C, spacing, 
the both a and b e none of above yeah i am waiting for your responses yeah let's see what did you learn which animation principle did we use in the bouncing ball animation for gravity d both a and c uh ready said d and uh, it's uh yeah it's scrolling very fast kartik say d yeah so the uh, answer is timing and spacing yeah both a and c thank you very much for your response and uh, yeah let's move to next part i'm sure it's going to be excited again uh presentation mode yeah let's okay prerequisites for a job application yeah so first thing first you should have a very clean and short resume never ever mess up your resume it has to be very simple managers do actually don't have time to go through with messy resume so you can get rejection there always keep if possible keep one page uh, design or animation uh, uh, resume right so it can be like this next thing important for the job is online portfolio yes most of the candidates those apply to the animation jobs never have animation online animation portfolio so what you have to do whatever animation you are creating uh, build one on uh, online portfolio it can be in the behance it can be in the blog spot or it can be in a website so find out the option so you can see an example of my online portfolio so i have uploaded few uh, uh, few of my work here whether it's animation you can see the variety of work here so what you can do so i'll, I'll give you a walk through of this yeah this is the website right it is simple and sober right it's not messy so what happens is your chances of getting selection gets very high if you have portfolio right if you don't share portfolio with the resume then it there can be chances that your resume might get rejected and you would never know the reason why so always tag your behance or your website link in the uh, in the uh, in the resume so that they can browse your uh, uh, your portfolio from looking at your resume only right so you can copy this uh, uh, this uh, link the address of the, of the of the portfolio in the uh, in the resume you can mention that yeah and if you can see uh, i have i can see a few example of animation yeah so you can see this is the character walk cycle i did created a long time back of 3d animation and uh, you can see the character movements all the motion animation principles weight gravity all here yeah right so uh, always create an online portfolio okay let's move to last slide and thing matters is the learning attitude and confidence yes whenever you are applying for a job or whether you are opting for a career always have learning attitude whether it's a it's webinar even if this anywhere uh, this webinar i'm talking about i'm sure you must have learned something right so take learning from everything whatever online uh, learning platform you have or online youtube you can go through you can go through with the website search with the google and uh, find lots of learning from there right just upgrade your skills have learning attitude even if you go into an interview just and you don't know about some softwares or something that they could ask you a question just clearly mention that sir or madam i don't know about this right now but surely i will learn in future i will try to be better in job right always be clear to you have learning attitude and last is the confidence always go in interview in with confidence don't be overconfident but the confident to answer all the questions right that's it time for a quiz again uh yeah do you need 
an online work portfolio to apply for animation jobs or internships yes it showcases your work no it's a total waste of time yeah let's wait for your response yes pandira said yes lida said yes ami said yes um, yeah this is scoring very fast but i can see all your messages it says yes a option thank you very much for your response looking at the response i feel very proud that i was able to uh, give you some learning today i hope it's same with you all thank you very much and uh, yes so over to you uh manpreet yeah hi arun thank you for the incredible webinar i'm sure we all got to learn a lot of new things today uh, we can now open the floor for some questions and uh, before we start taking the audience questions i would like to ask you a question as somebody who is new to this domain and somebody who would uh, really love to explore this particular software and this particular field of animation uh, what is the path for me and uh, what are the career opportunities as well could you please uh, tell me that okay so the right path would be to learn as much as possible you can uh, learn about principles of animation going through with all the websites youtube channel you have you have learning platforms uh, so you can uh, learn about principles but you need to have knowledge of software application of software to put learning there right until right. unless you know you know you can know acting but you need some platform some theatrical platform to present that acting right same is here you can learn about uh, animation you can learn about uh, do do the follow the production pipeline but you should have one uh, one knowledge of tools or knowledge of softwares to apply those things right so i've gone through with the internshala animation training and i've seen um, all the animation tools available there it's a great way of learning after effect and it's available at very nominal cost also and uh, you can uh, try that and uh, yeah and, and sec absolutely second yeah and second question you asked about the uh, the career options available right so right. Uh, animation is a huge field right if you know about 2d animation you can apply uh, in the corporates for explainer videos infographics you can apply as a motion graphic designer video developer and uh, there are multiple options available even in the gaming industry there are 2d animations right you can yeah. uh, you can see there are 2d games available right you can apply in the gaming in industry also so lots of um, multiple options available there yeah you just have to just like uh, switch on your mind switch on the log behind the mind just learn observe go go through with all the youtube channels all the internet google it just search all all the platforms and learn as much as possible and one most important thing is observation right if you are creating some animation if there is mirror just try to act it out in front of a mirror right learn see how character walks right observe others how they they walk in real life real physics and then try to replicate that in in inside the software right so observation right. and learning yeah true definitely and for all the keen learners here today internshala is offering an additional 10% discount on the animation training you can use the code uh, mentioned in the chat that is practical 10 in go on in the link in the description and avail this offer now we'll open the floor for the audience so arun i would request you to kindly take maybe three four questions and sure. uh, you all can just type in your questions in the chat and arun will answer them for you uh it's scrolling very fast uh, it says oh someone said hands up thank you very much uh what website you use for animation so animation portfolio so i have used uh behance.net yeah you can create your animation profiles there is animation and motion graph different or is it just uh, uh with same meaning yeah motion graphic design designing is a vast field animation is a part of it uh 
a used in graphic design also uh, no gra after effect is not used in the graphic design we use after effects uh, we use illustrator corel draw photoshop for that uh any other questions it is to learn animation so animation requires how much uh, the question is how much time it takes to learn animation it depends on the practice the more you practice the more you would be able to learn about animation there is a perfect exact timeline you can learn it in one week you can it can it might take you a year to learn animation or it might be possible that right. if you are not honest it might take you might learn, not learn it so it about your hard work and dedication yeah Definitely. and practice yeah any other question what can be the first step to start it yeah the first step would be uh, to um, as i said go through with the internet know about all the things uh, how watch movies animation movies understand understand about the career options there are multiple online trainings available even in tonshala you can opt for few one and learn from home also yeah definitely i think uh, that that would be all for today thank you everyone for joining and thanks arun for the incredible session and you all can subscribe to our youtube channel for updates regarding the upcoming isc practical session in this season we will be having some more sessions for you so i would love to see you all there and uh, thanks arun again for the awesome session and have a great weekend everyone thanks bye bye thank you very much uh, manpreet and thank you very much all for participating in this session and making it making it a great grand success yeah thank you very much